How's it going everyone? Thank you so much for joining me for this balance workout. We're gonna go ahead and get started doing our trunk twist. So for this one, we are going to uh, slowly twist our body side to side to get some nice core movement uh, through the middle here. And doing it through that twisting motion works a slightly different portion of the core that uh, we don't typically use a lot in our normal day-to-day -day lives. So it's important to keep up on those twisting muscles to make sure they stay uh, nice and loose, uh, make sure we keep them work so that uh, in the term time that we do need them, you know, we don't overuse them. So keeping them nice and loose. I also like this, it loosens up your hips a little bit too. Perfect, so we're gonna rest on that one. The next one we're gonna do is a reverse hurdle. So we're gonna imagine as if there's a hurdle kind of running up to the side of our body like so, and we're gonna alternate back and forth, stepping up and over that reverse hurdle, okay? So this one's a really good one that's going to open up your hip muscles and um, it'll also work some of the muscles around your core too. So really try your best to get that knee going up as high as you can on both directions. That's really gonna give you the biggest bang for your buck. And a simple way you can do this too, you can kind of imagine that hurdle being a little bit uh, taller um, when you go around. So don't push too hard, you know, we're just getting our warm up, just getting our juices going. Um, but yeah, definitely give it your best shot. Perfect, let's go ahead and rest on that one. For our next one, we're gonna do our side reach. So we're gonna reach all the way up and all the way down, perfect. Both directions, good reach, nice and easy. And again, for these ones with the shoulder, if you do have any shoulder pain or it feels a little uncomfortable for you to reach up all the way, you don't have to go quite that high. You can just go a little bit uh, less. So maybe down here, this is as high you can get. Again, this is all relative to you. Give it your best shot and try to get a good reach as high as you can at your own level. So there's no need to compare. You're just giving it your best shot for yourself. Perfect. Go ahead, give me one more reach and relax. Beautiful. All right, so the next one we're going to do here is our ankle roll. So go ahead and stick one foot out. We're going to get a nice twisting motion with our ankle here all the way around, trying to get as much motion as we can. You know, we don't need to push this too hard or too far. Um, again, give it your best shot though and get that good ankle movement. Perfect. Go ahead and rest. We'll flip to the other side and get that big, big motion on that other side again. Uh, you might notice a little bit of differences between the two feet. Um, don't need to focus on it too much. Just give it your best shot because ultimately um, you're trying to give yourself the most range of motion possible. Perfect. Go ahead and relax on that one. The next one we're going to do is another roll of our body and it's going to be our shoulder roll. So we're going to make some nice big circles with our shoulders all the way around with our body here and try to get as big of a shrug as you can all the way around your body. You know, the bigger the shrug, the better. And we're going nice and big with our circles. And it doesn't really matter here. I'm going backwards. You can do forward or backward. Again, it really doesn't matter either way. Uh, just try to get some nice big motion either direction. Perfect, go ahead and rest on that one. The last roll we're gonna do here is our wrist roll. So you're gonna bring your hands down into this position like so, and get some nice movement all the way around with your wrist here. Um, I'm adding my fingers to this as well. I like to do that. It gives you just a little more bang for your buck here, just to get a little extra movement all around, helping with any of that arthritis that might be accumulating or present in your life and rest, perfect. All right, so for this next portion of class, what we're gonna do is a little bit of a seated agility to help your body move quickly and agile. So for our seated agility, we're gonna do three different things. The first one is going to be a uh, side to side step. So we're just gonna move nice and slow at first. We're gonna pick up the speed uh, after we kind of feel this motion to begin. But again, uh, sometimes you might wanna grab onto your chair. That'll make it a little easier to do. But ultimately start with a nice slow speed. 
We're going to increase the speed just a tiny bit here. We're not, again, going too, too quick. We're going to just go a little bit faster. And now we're going to go as fast as we can. Tap back and forth. Keep going. Move that feet back, 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 back. And rest. Perfect. All right. So we worked our right leg, or at least I worked my right leg. Maybe you used your left leg. Whatever leg you did use, we're going to now flip to the other side and do the same thing. So again, we're going to do side to side steps. And um, when you're doing these steps here, they don't need to be quite as big as maybe you would be trying in a normal exercise. You just need to get it out just a little bit and enough where you can move it fast back and forth. Okay, so you're doing a reach out to the side and back. Doesn't need to be too far. You just want to be able to move it nice and quick. Well, now we're going to increase the speed just a tiny bit again with that kind of middle or uh, moderate speed now we're going to finish as fast as we can tapping back and forth move those feet as quickly as possible you can do it here good and rest perfect all right so uh, that was two agility drills we did one for each foot now we're going to put two and two together and do both feet at the same time okay so we'll again start with an easy motion we're not going to go too quickly when we first start this we're just going nice and easy back and forth just getting the groove of things not going too quick but now we're going to increase the speed just a little bit more perfect keep going and now we're going to go as fast as we can back and forth we got 10 seconds here moving those feet Go back and forth, fast, 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 and rest. Perfect. Nice job, everyone. We're going to go ahead and move up to our standing position now and do some balance. So I'm going to start with our normal balance holds just to get ourselves warmed up and feel how we are on our feet. So we're going to start with our feet hip width apart. Kind of take notice, lean left, right. How do we feel today? Do you feel good? Uh, does that feel hard? If that feels easy for you, you can go ahead and bring both feet together, have them still standing. You can do a little bit of a side bend, forward and backward. Again, take notice of how you're feeling. Is this easy for yourself? Uh, maybe you're a little more unsteady today. That's okay. Uh, these things change day to day. That's exactly why we do this little warm up. Next, we're going to stagger our feet just a little bit to that uh, slightly staggered position, ultimately to heel the toe. That's going to be the hardest position for yourself. So if you can hold this pretty well, you know you're doing pretty good today. And again, find that progression for you where you can hold it for a decent amount of time and um, not wobble too much. We're gonna go back through those progressions again. Go ahead and switch to the other side if you did have your feet in a staggered hold. So this will be the easiest one. You can bring your feet together. And then again, working through those progressions, the hardest variation um, is going to be that heel to toe hold. And again, this is going to be for our stagger hold. So if you did have your feet staggered in that first one, this is going to be what we're going to move to. Perfect. All right. So I'm going to move this aside. Next, what we're going to do is our reverse hurdle. And we actually warmed up with this same exercise. So for our reverse hurdle, we're going to alternate that step over an imaginary hurdle. So we're doing back and forth here, big step over, big step back. And this is a really tough one that will change your center of gravity, but also work your hip mobility quite a bit. So it's really, really tricky on your balance. You're moving a lot of different ways. Got to use a lot of different muscles to work it. So make sure you have your hand near that chair in case you need it to grab onto. There's no shame in having it for a little extra comfort. If this is really easy for you, try to make that hurdle even bigger than you were before. So that imaginary hurdle, you can make it as big as you can tolerate. The higher that hurdle, the tougher this is gonna be simply because you're putting more stress on just that one leg. So give it your best shot. Perfect, excellent job everyone so far. Um, what we're going to do next is a staggered foot hold, but we're going to add a little bit of a twirl to this. So um, we're actually going to start with both of our feet together. And then once we're in this position, we're going to stagger our feet just a tiny bit, okay? Once you have this position for yourself, we're going to slowly bring our hips all the way around here, okay? So big, big reach, big, big circle. 
and we're going slow on this one trying to control that movement this one's super good too not just for your balance Ooh, i can't test myself there not just for your balance but also uh this will open up your hips and all the muscles around your core too so big big reach with that circle Good. Let's go ahead and switch to the other side. So I'm going to stagger my feet in the opposite direction now. And we're going to try to find that same motion. Um, but we're also going to change the direction of that circle too. So whatever motion you are working in, try to work on that opposite direction. So now we're working that equal balance, making sure we're not doing too much towards one side, making sure everything's balanced and everything's equal here. Perfect. Big, big reach around. Good. And relax. Perfect. All right. So for our next exercise, what we are going to do is a big reach to the side. So I'm going to move my chair out of the, the way for this one. Uh, but again, have that chair in front of you if you need it to hold on to. I just don't have it just so you can see me demonstrate. So what we're going to do is a big step to the left. And then you're gonna do a big step back, okay? So essentially all we're doing here is trying to step nice and far, much further than we're used to stepping. And the bigger the step we take when we're reaching back and forth, the harder this is gonna be. So as you kind of get the hang of this and feel uh, that different step and your center of gravity change, you can actually increase the step just a little bit further to make it even more challenging for yourself. So as you get used to this, try to challenge yourself, get a little bit further in that step. You'd be surprised how far you can get. Um, and also, the bigger the step, the more your muscles are gonna get engaged too. So really try to work yourself. Try to go nice and steady. We don't wanna go too quick with these. Perfect. And rest, beautiful. All right, so the last exercise we're gonna do for our balance workout today is gonna to be our tree position hold. So this one's going to be a static position. We're gonna start with our foot kind of tilted to the side like this. This is gonna be your starting position. If this is easy for yourself, you can bring your heel up onto your legs like so. If this is easier, you can bring even more of your heel up. So you have even less of another base on the other side. And ultimately this is gonna be the toughest part of this if you're able to completely hold without holding on to anything. Uh, my, all my weight is just onto my one foot and this is gonna be the toughest for your balance too. So we'll go ahead and repeat on the other side. You can see it. Try to hold about 30 seconds on a variation for yourself. So again, this is on my other side. This is one toe on the ground. We'll see how this feels for me. This is pretty good, pretty easy so far. So we can bring up that toe just a little bit more. Kind of makes that uh, base a little more unstable. Ultimately, until we bring it up even farther, this is again going to be that hardest position for yourself. Give it your best shot. If you can't do this one, don't be too down on yourself. This one is extremely difficult to do. Even just being able to kind of narrow your base a little bit on that one toe is going to give you quite a bit of work as well. So go ahead and finish that exercise. You did so awesome today. We just have one more stretch to cool down from our work today. So for that stretch, we're going to move into our split stance. So one foot's going to be in front of the other. My right knee is forward. My back knee is um back so for that front knee it's going to be bent a little bit and once i get in that bent position i'm going to slowly push that front knee forward while keeping my back heel planted into the ground when we're doing this exercise too it's really important make sure you have that chair near you in case you do need it to hold on to you're going to be pushing that foot forward you should feel a nice pull on the back of your calf muscle here we're going to ease into the stretch take a few deep breaths make sure we're feeling okay Go ahead and ease off the stretch and then we're going to repeat on the other side so um, this time now i'm going to have my left foot forward in that split stance have that chair near you once again if you do need it so left foot's forward uh, left leg uh, left knee i should say is bent my back or my right foot is uh, glued into the ground so that heels in the ground 
Left leg's going forward, push that knee nice and easy, and feel that good stretch on the back of your calf here. Again, we're taking a couple good deep breaths. You'll probably notice if you try to do this without holding on to anything, this is actually a pretty good balance drill as is. Um, but either way, give it your best shot. Slowly ease off it. Perfect. So we are all done with our balance workout today. You did awesome. We will go ahead and see you in that fitness tip of the day right after this. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that exercise workout. For our tip today, we are going to talk about a recovery tip and this is going to be involved with sleeping. Sleeping is super, super crucial and important for you to get the most out of your health and wellness and recover for those next workouts. So when it comes to sleep, there's a lot of different ways we can improve it. But what I'm going to give you as a tip is to use an eye mask when you're sleeping. Using an eye mask allows you to minimize the overall amount of light that's getting into your eyes when you're sleeping, thus making your body think or at least uh, realize that you're not in light. Uh, because as we know, once we start to trigger our body to light, it makes us feel awake and like we need to uh, get on with the day. So in the morning when we get exposed to light, it triggers different hormones and things in our body which keep us up. The same thing can happen in the middle of the night, so making sure that you have um, at least your room covered in blinds that are really dark, but for me, I can't do that, so I use the eye mask. So go ahead and try that tip out. Thanks again for checking out this video, and we'll see you in that next one. I'm out of it, I'm out of it,